Welcome back to Fishing Big Nasty. If I live to make it to the pond day, we might do some fishing. But uh, it ain't looking good. Preston's over here texting and driving. He done ran off the road twice. He done scared two people so bad, I think I saw a brown stain on the back of their britches. Um, I feel like I'm instructing driver training today. Look, I mean, I'm, I'm literally driving the car from the passenger side. I'm thinking get him to let me out and somebody pick me up. So, um, like I say, if I live to make it to the pond, we're gonna fish. If I don't, Miss Amy, don't sell all my fishing stuff. Just put it in a building somewhere and, and hoard it, okay? Keep it forever. Um, so, we're going to a pond down here in Chester. It's a public um, DNR maintained pond. It's supposed to have brim, bass, and catfish in it. Um, it's newly stocked. The last time I seen there was a bunch of little fish. It didn't look like there was no big fish in it. We're going to see what we can get this morning. So, y'all stay tuned, and we'll see you on the water in just a few minutes. Preston caught him a little bass. Been here about 10 minutes. Caught a little bass on a spinner bait. Did he swallow it? No. Yeah, I got some pliers. I'm rigging for some catfish. We're doing some bass fishing. The water is up a lot. Just the bottom of the pool. Drop the phone in the water. All right, people, we moved. We went to another pond. We wasn't getting no action after that first bass that um, Preston caught. And now he's come over here and he's lost his little lure in a tree. And uh, he's bound and determined to get out there and get it. He's probably fixing to go swimming in a second. It's probably what's fixing to happen. Fishing is probably done here after he gets done with this. We ain't been here five minutes. So y'all might get to see Preston go in the water. I'm preparing some carp dough. There's supposed to be some carp in this pond. So we'll see what happens to Preston in a minute. A tree's gonna fall in the water in a minute. And I can't swim, so. Preston's probably gonna die. Preston finally got him a little brim. Oh my gosh. About time. Pretty little brim too. That's what's rolling out here. Saved your worm too, didn't you? Yes, sir. Team bass. You make a half a sandwich. We've been out here a good while, and uh, we ain't caught nothing but that one little brim. I got some carp bait out there. I got a chicken liver out there. I got a piece of shad out there. Nothing, absolutely nothing, except that brim right there. So. To touch the fish, so. You're scared to touch it? Why? He ain't gonna hurt you. He ain't gonna bite you, boy. He ain't gonna bite me. I ain't what I'm afraid of. Look at him ever so gently reach across the dorsal fins again. There's supposed to be carp in this pond. That's what they say. We ain't seen none yet, so.
All right, let's get to release. Land the plane, land the plane, boy. <laughs> Pick the drag. Boy, that's a pretty nice fish. It's catfish. It's catfish. He bit that little old green, I don't know what kind of worm it was, green caterpillar or something. Green earthworm. Oh, you found an earthworm? Yeah. Little bullhead. We got a catfish video now. Well, there is a catfish in here. Um, hadn't had no luck so far, but. Here you go, you can take them off. Oh no, you gonna take oh, them no. off. Oh no, oh no. I ain't taking that, no, no. Nope, nope. Middle cut the line in. Middle cut the line. Come on, Preston. I ain't, I ain't touching it. You stuck your finger in the oven's mouth. He's not gonna bite you. This one looks dingy, I ain't. Come on, Preston, look, dingy. Just take He's it been off. in the mud. Please take it off. God almighty, Preston, really? Take the man fishing, had to bait his hook like a little girl. Had to get the catfish up. Oh, 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 he's, he's biting me, Preston. Get the hook out. I'm trying. Don't touch his whisker now. Might sting you. Don't hook me, sure enough. <laughs> Don't hook up. Ah. <laughs> let him bite you on the elbow. Ah. <laughs> Do y'all believe that? I mean, really. Y'all believe that? I want to touch a little old bullhead catfish. Wow. I thought I might have been fishing with a little girl, but now I know. Well, we've been fishing for years. You should have known years ago. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. This fishing trip was not planned out very well. We knew uh, the water was gonna be up in the lake and the rivers, and we knew it was gonna be tough. So um, we just kind of played it by ear. And uh, when we started out this morning, we really had no idea where we was going until about the last minute. We decided to go to Lake Oliphant, it's in Chester. And uh, it's only open on Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. It was a fairly new stock pond. It's been stocked in the last couple of years. And uh, I actually talked to a guy there the other day and he said he caught about 20 bass between 10 and 12 inches long. So I figured it would be a good trip to go out there and just see what they would do. But uh, we only caught one. Second place we went, um, Preston caught a little brim and a bullhead catfish. Y'all seen that, right? He wouldn't stick his finger in his mouth again. Hey, that's something about them catfish. He said it looked too dingy. So, um, I don't know what he thought about that catfish, but he would not touch it. Uh, so he made me get the hook out of his mouth. We we kind of rib each other a lot, but uh, we're really good friends. We're, we're more like brothers or father and son or whatever. I feel like I raised that boy. So uh, we do rib each other pretty hard from time to time. So we ended up at it. The Catawba River at um, River Walk. I think that's the name of it, River Walk, not River Park. And we fished in a little inlet right there that uh, a creek dumps into the river, and it was kind of calm in there. We was gonna try for some carp, but we didn't get any bites at all, so kind of a total loss on the carp. I've been wanting to catch a carp, and uh, been chasing them for a while, and it just ain't happening, so. Maybe next time. So until next time, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you later.